Hi, my name is the Glue Guy. Welcome to the creation of the Scrooge McDuck Madden NFL 20 Rebuild Series. The idea is simple. We take one of the least valuable teams in the NFL and we turn them into an NFL powerhouse while spending as little money as possible. In the background, you can see the league setup. We chose the third least valuable team in the NFL, according to Forbes, the Cincinnati Bengals, to be the cheapest franchise in league history. We will rebuild them and relocate them. Using only third round picks or lower, we won't get any off-season free agents and the only free agents we can actually add to our team are undrafted rookies. This will stay this way all through the series unless you guys come up with a nice scenario for exception on these rules. With a new owner like this comes a new identity. Therefore, we have to start the relocation process. Later in the video, you will see what our new identity will be. Since the whole concept of this series is to try to spend as little money as possible, the first thing we have to do is get rid of spending money. We'll trade away our first and five most expensive guys on the team, which are Andy Dalton, Geno Atkins, Mr. Green at wide receiver, Kirk Patrick and Carlos Dunlap. After we've traded those guys away through the trade block, we're going to release every other player on the roster. So as you can see, the roster that we got for right now is absolute trash. We have 64, 65s all over the board. We got only Billy Price as the star development guy. And uh, on the defensive side of the ball, well, there's not a lot to be proud of, except for Michael Jackson Sr. I mean, he's called Michael Jackson. If we look at where we are going to relocate, oh lord, I think we should end up somewhere nice and it is going to be Sacramento. And now you all think why the fuck would anyone want to be in Sacramento? Well, I'll tell you because we will be digging for gold as the Sacramento Miners. We're going to pick these slick jerseys right here and uh, well, really they're not too slick, they're just the best option available. And after that, we are going to take the humongous stadium. I mean, I know that's not cheap, but fuck it. This is my show, and I just love it. That brings us to the 2020 offseason, where we'll start building up our team through the draft and undrafted free agents. But first, we'll have to get rid of the remaining players on our team that we should have but could not release last year because of injuries. Next to that, we'll have to trade away our first and second round draft pick in hopes to getting more lower round draft picks. Uh, I'm looking for a trade pick for our first round pick and I'm going to go with a third rounder for this year and a third and a fourth for next year. Let's have a look if they want to accept it. That's great. Of course, they get the number one pick. The Denver Broncos are going to be very happy with me. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers pick for this year and the third round pick for next year. Let's see if they can accept that. They can accept that that's three, that's two more third round picks. We have 149 million in our cap space and we have 16 players on the roster. And we got Morgan, we signed him to a new deal. We got Nauta, who's our tight end and our fullback at the same time. I mean, that's real cool. He can play at two positions at the same time. And then in defense, we got Phillips still. And we got Colton and a couple of guys that were already here. Of course, Michael Jackson is here. Uh... We've got absolutely nothing. So it's time to head into the NFL draft. We only have third round picks. I scouted a lot of guys and I'm going to take you through the complete draft process of getting a new team with just rookies. We got the first pick in the third round, of course. Every, every round will have the first pick. And I'll pause the draft and I'll start looking into what we got this year. And there's a lot of good guys and there's even first round quarterbacks. There's three of them left. Even Travis Maley, who if I look at his combine grade, would absolutely not be bad. A few moments later. I think I'm going to have to go Dion Newberry out of Washington as my first pick for the Sacramento Miners. He's a wide receiver. He should be an early third rounder. He's 24 years of age and he's a 70 overall normal. Wow, that's... Uh, it's a little less exciting than I hoped it would be. But, better luck next time. It's a 70 rated player. That's the best player we got in our team. So that's okay. There's a couple of guys in here that I would really like. But I think I'm going to go with Joseph Owens. The strong safety out of Illinois. He's a zone, he's a zone 
strong safety and he is going to be 68 overall normal development but in my opinion not a bad pick i mean we're still talking third rounders here but i think i'm going to go offensive line here or tommy wash walsh wow that's a difficult name no i'm going for william gillius he's a late first round talent he's a 70 overall normal rated left guard out of utah i'm quite okay with that pick let's have a look still have that wide receiver there but i did not scout him so i'm not trying to take a risk on him um i'm going to have to go for the first round talent tight end i know he's a blocker and that's not the greatest thing in the world but i could always make him a fullback or something but he's a 71 rated normal development tight end and i actually kind of like that i'm gonna go with Derek Kincaid, the right guard out of Ohio State. He should be a second round talent and he is absolutely not what I wanted him to be. Only a 68 rated guard. And I think we should have picked better there. And I'm going with Spencer Collier here. I cannot risk losing Spencer Collier. Oh, I could have really risked losing Spencer Collier. Seven picks left and there's a lot of guys in here that I still want. But I'm going to go with... Miles Davenport here. I I got the feeling that he's some oh wow he's somewhat of a mega bust. I really thought he would be better, but we're it's, it looks like we're going to have to play with a 62 overall quarterback this year, and we still need a middle linebacker. I know, I know, but I think I'm gonna go with my middle linebacker in the next round, and then I'll get Calvin Sinclair, oh, and I'll have to move him to left outside linebacker. I don't really care. I'm gonna go with Calvin Sinclair. Out of Wisconsin, a run-stopping right outside linebacker with a hidden development. 68 overall, this is the best pick so far. Calvin Sinclair is at least going to be a star and maybe more. So they got Felix Hemingway, the guy I was really, really looking forward to pick now. Uh, I think I lost out on a quite a good amount of players, yeah. We lost out on the cornerback. We, uh, oh wow, we lost out on a lot of guys right here. <laughs> but I mean an absolute lot. Well then, Ellis Hoover is the only pick that should be made right now. He's a real good looking defensive tackle. He's a 68 overall speed rusher. He's the 68 player in this class. We drafted him at 129. That's actually not too bad. I think we still need a cornerback because we got one active and we're going to go with Ricky Walls, the fifth fastest. Only a 63 overall, but number 131 in true talent. Uh, drafted him at number 154, so that's not too bad. We could have done better or, or worse there. We got two draft picks left. And let's see who's still in here. We got Peter Black and David Hopkins. Well, I like Hopkins. He's great. But I'm going to go Peter Black first. I mean, we need someone who can play quarterback for us. He's a 61 rated field general quarterback. At least we have a backup quarterback now. And those two will have to fight out who will be the starter in this team. And with our last pick in our first draft as the Sacramento Miners, we are going to get ourselves the fullback. We deserve Dave Hopkins. Let's get him in here. He's a late second round talent. He's a normal development, 68 overall utility fullback. Uh, that's the draft that we got for this team. Uh, I'll skip it and I'll take you to the team overall look at the first day right now. After confronting you with the biggest teardown in NFL history, the cheapest rebuild of NFL history, a relocation of the Cincinnati Bengals to become the Sacramento Miners, and a draft that did not go as planned, it's time for you to meet the man of the hour, the man, the myth, the legend, Coach Glue. Look at his tiny cute face. Isn't he adorable? Look, he's even a little reddish around the beard. Ah, uh, well, this will be images of him after he sees what kind of team he has to work with. This is a nightmare! What will you learn? Then your actions are consequences! The team that Coach Glue needs to work with currently has 51 out of 75 possible players, but that's only two players too little for a complete uh, week one roster. 
We are 65 overall rated with a better offense than we have a defense. And that is mostly due to the guys we picked up in the undrafted free agency. Because we got a couple of studs. First, we got Mr. Nolan Wheeler, a hidden development, elusive back out of Mount Union. He's 23 years old. He's got some decent speed and agility ratings. He's, of course, only a 58 overall, but he's got a star or higher development trade. With him, we also got Johnny Rushing, a 21-year-old, 205-pound, 5'9 rookie out of Montana, who could be a great slot receiver with great 91 acceleration and speed with decent catching well actually very trash route running but some good agility too he should be really good for us when he finally has the ball and maybe we could even make him a running back at some point if we can't get him anywhere but the best thing about him is that he's got that hidden development trade on the defensive side of the ball, of course we are Sinclair and we have Bolton out of last year but we got ourselves a cornerback in free agency called Lynn Clinton, he's only a 61 overall, man-to-man -man cornerback, 23 years old, 6'1", but he's got decent speed, actually he's terrible at everything else, but he's got the hidden development trait, which is very, very nice, and next to that we got this defensive tackle, who's an absolute stud, Tyler O'Neill, the rookie out of USF, he completely got missed by everyone but he's quite strong he's got some decent finesse moves he's got nice speed and acceleration and he seems like he's going to have a great impact on our team right away next to that we got ethan patterson the free safety out of the ul lafayette and he's a 511 21 year old free safety rookie which with uh, well he's actually very slow he's got no pursuit he's got quite good acceleration and hit power but He's 69 overall, and with that, he's the second best player on our team. So, hey, if we can get guys like that on free agency, I'm pretty happy with that. Next to that, we got David Bernardo, who was actually a strong safety, but we already had one. So I moved him over to cornerback. He's out of the University of Colorado, has 89 speed, 89 acceleration, some decent jumping, good zone coverage, not too good in covering man, but I think he could be a real stud for us right there. That's the team we are going to be working with next to that. The funny thing is, we got a star or better development punter. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen that before. And we actually got quite a good kicker out of the free agency. Uh, the funny thing is, he's a rookie. He's out of California. He can use the same color shirts as he used to do when he was on California. But uh, he's our best player on the team, together with Thomas Walls, the tight end. There you have it. Coach Glue is in the background working out the preseason matches. I'm going to get myself a rest after this stunning but absolutely beautiful start of the Sacramento Minor Series. I love making this video, I hope you loved watching it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and share the video. I'm out for today, my name is the Glue Guy, see you later. Bye guys!